hey YouTube as you know Easter is approaching this weekend so I wasn't sure how I wanted to handle my son's Easter basket because I didn't want to just give him a huge assortment of chocolate and candy he's only two and a half doesn't mean he can't have candy but I don't want him to have like a truckload of it I was trying to think of what I could do to put in his Easter basket besides just candy he also has a ton of little car toys and he's not really huge into stuffed animals so I'm kind of like what what can a toddler get for Easter besides just candy or cars or you know I tried to make a nice little assortment but I also didn't want to spend like a hundred dollars for stuff not that I wouldn't do it for my son but of course if you can try to save a few bucks without depleting your child of Easter goodies you know it could be a win-win so for today's video what I wanted to do is show you guys how I got an Easter basket for my toddler who is two and a half how you can do roughly the same thing even if not for this Easter at least for next Easter or you can recommend this to other people that might have toddlers you know and I spent less than 20 bucks doing it too so let's begin so I'll start off saying that everything literally everything that I got for my son's Easter basket I actually got at my local dollar store and I wasn't gonna just get him the cheapest looking toy I could find that would fall apart in two seconds because you can tell by looking at a toy whether it's not expensive you know and will last a while or whether it's really just a piece of junk I wasn't gonna get my son junk to save a buck but I wanted to see what I could do with the dollar store and see how they would fulfill my needs and they actually did pretty well so the first thing I bought was of course my Easter basket nice little size not too big not too small there is one dollar there the next thing I bought and you'll see this more at the end was actually a little bag that you could put the Easter basket in at the end it's cellophane comes with twist ties and you can wrap that up in the top make it look that much nicer this one actually I don't know if you can see has bunnies and chicks on it very nice and it came with two in there so perhaps I can save this for next year as well there's another dollar and I wanted to get him something that was educational but also fun so while he's learning how to well, he's not learning how to talk but he's developing his speech because he's not 100% fluent as many of you can imagine and he loves Mickey Mouse so when I saw these I knew they would be perfect they are actually flashcards this one is colors and shapes and this one is numbers and counting and as you can see it has the number on it has the number well this one has the number three but it also has the literal number of pictures corresponding to that number so that's a neat little thing he can use to help him learn how to count and the colors and shapes as you can see has literally colors and shapes the word for it so he's definitely knows his shapes and colors but I thought it would be almost like a game we can play where I can show him the flashcard trust me I'm not gonna be one of those parents that's cramming education down my kids throat ad nauseum but he likes Mickey I thought this would be something fun so two bucks right there we had one of these little magic towel things that was just lying around and it was Ninja Turtles and we'd given him a bath one day and he actually really liked it so I got him one for Paw Patrol and one for PJ Masks I had to think for a second so two more bucks I did get him some chocolate and Whitman is very good I know that for a fact there's another dollar I got him three board books he has a ton of books I can't even tell you and gets more all the time every so often from friends and family members but we read to him every night and sometimes he picks the same stories all the time so I'm trying to pick something a little different plus when he actually learns to read words I figured they would help as well and as you've seen he loves Paw Patrol as well so I got him three of those that I thought he would really enjoy three more bucks 
I got, he likes trucks and cars and things like that. So I got him chocolate in the shape of a bulldozer. I almost said steamroller, and I know that's not what that is. They did have a couple other truck shapes, but most of them were the same. So this was the only bulldozer I saw. There's another dollar. I got him a little foam airplane. They did have plastic toys there, but where he's still kind of young, if he's going to be throwing stuff around, foam isn't going to hurt him. And if he breaks it, it's a dollar. And worst case scenario, if he really wants me to, I can always go out and get him another one. But hopefully if Easter is a nice day, we'll be able to throw that around a little. It might be fun. So there's another dollar. Finally, I got him a bubble play set. I didn't want to get him one of those huge bubble wands because again, he's still at that kind of klutzy age. And even if I watch him, I try to do damage control where I can. So this is a small little tray has a few different bubble wands, and when the weather's nice, we can go outside and do that together, and it also has the regular wand too, in case you just wanted to do that. And you can always buy more bubble solution if you need it as well. So that was another dollar. So counting up all my Easter stuff, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, drop that, nine, 10, 11, 12 for the bags and 13 for the Easter basket and I did get a couple other things as well so if you're counting just the stuff I got just for my son that's 13 bucks not including tax 13 for a pretty good Easter basket and I'm gonna put it together and show you what it looks like too so you can kind of see how full the basket is but all together at the dollar store plus a couple extra things I spent about 16 bucks and again it's not that I would necessarily skimp for my son but it does help to save where you can, especially with the economy the way it is right now. So I'm gonna put the Easter basket together, show you what that's gonna look like. All right, and done. My husband, God love him, was just gonna get him candy. And, and yeah, it's not that he wouldn't have enjoyed just the candy, but even if he doesn't remember it, I'm gonna remember it. I wanted to make sure I at least tried to do everything I could, within reason, to do my due diligence and give him a good Easter. One that was appropriate for his age as well. And besides this stuff for the record, I do of course have those little chocolate eggs that you can put in those little plastic eggs that kind of break in half. And assuming the day is nice, I do plan on doing one of those little Easter egg hunts as well. If it's not a nice day, I'll just put the eggs around the house and say, hey, let's go pick them up and see what's inside. So in addition to the Easter basket, I do have chocolate eggs and the plastic Easter eggs that you see everywhere around this time. And I have peanut butter cups as well. So I do have additional candy. I just didn't go overboard on chocolate because again, use two and a half. Try not to make his teeth fall out yet. So the basket. Here is my finished product. Now you can go to a store like Walmart and I'm not dissing it because trust me, I love Walmart and spend anywhere from 10 to 20, maybe 25 bucks, depends on how elaborate the basket is, and get stuff like this. Maybe even stuff that isn't as nice as some of this stuff, truth be told. Some of the toys that I have seen in, not necessarily Walmart, but other stores that they have in those big baskets that are together are kind of cheap looking. And I'm not saying dollar store stuff isn't cheap in that way, but, this is all stuff that I thought was durable enough that it didn't look cheap. So here's all my stuff together. Bend it a little bit just so you can kind of see inside. I know I don't have Easter grass, maybe when he's a little older, because I know right now he will throw that stuff all over my house. And if you are a parent that has the patience for that and are willing to clean that up, God bless you. I'm not trying to be lazy, but I just don't think I have the strength this year for that. So maybe next year we'll do the Easter grass, but even so, I'm gonna put this in my Easter basket bag and do the little twist tie at the top and then we will see what the ultimate finished product looks like. Getting all the air out of it. Don't want it to be too puffed up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All three people that are probably going to watch this. I give you my son's dollar store Easter bag. 
And again, all things considered, it was very easy to put together myself. I spent maybe at most half an hour in the store, just looking not just in the Easter section, but in the toy section as well. And even in the school supplies section is where I got the flashcards. And as stated earlier, it was basically about 13 bucks to put this together. And I think everything looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So there is your do-it-yourself Easter basket under 20 bucks for a toddler. Hopefully this video was informative to you in some way. Definitely feel free to share with someone if you feel like they could benefit from this information. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I do enjoy doing these videos and I definitely have plans to do more like this and like other topics as I'm sure you've seen so far if you've been looking at my channel. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy in following me and um, hope to have another video up soon. So I don't see you next time. Have a wonderful Easter. I know all this craziness is going on in the world right now, but despite the pandemic, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and hope you all remain safe. And I hope you can find the fun despite the insanity that's happening. Bye guys.